today on hard mode backwards. Uh, it is a empty, nothing on it, A and K, which is okay. What about this guy? Oh, this is part of a task too. Uh, crap. Can we? We can. Uh, is that part of a task? Nope, we just get that one. Okay, well, we didn't get the notification for it, I don't think, but... Freezix. That worked out. Four vehicles. One episode. How crazy. We were just, uh, you know... Build in our fleet, no big deal. Okay, welcome back. And uh, happy Wednesday. It is one, we're going to do one more little thing out here today, and then we're moving to the other map. That's where the burnt logs are, by the way. We'll have to come back here at some point and do that. Yeah, we're just finishing off this, this final water boon useless water tower that comes empty and okay. there we go <clears throat> and we're instead of driving this thing back which I don't know if this was a mistake or not I just figured I would drop a little bit of fuel off at this so I can I think what we're gonna do is use it to go and grab because those two vehicles at that hub I guess there's like a little mini town and there's two vehicles uh oh, uh -oh. Yeah, there's the, the wind steer and I think a cat that need to just be, like, taken places. You don't actually get them, you just take them places. And, uh... One of them is here and one of them is in the other map, so... Might just use the... Since it's, like, right down here. And they both, I think, have fuel in them. I know we did take that one little tick of fuel out of it. Uh, I think the wind steer the one time. Yeah, it should be enough for me to grab it and hopefully they start. I'm assuming they don't look busted up, so. Winch up, drive them somewhere, steal the rest of their fuel out of them. This is a uh, twisty, turny path that I chose. up again. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab the uh, repair taiga and head over to the other map. After we're done with this. I'm thinking, uh, I don't really have a plan of attack besides her. I'm just gonna, like, do some scouting with it. Maybe get some watchtowers. 
Maybe discover some vehicles. I'd like to go find that fuel. Oh uh, no! The Kenworth 963 can't drive up hills. Oh uh, no! Oh no! Just kidding. Okay. Ta-da! Now we have like 16 more watchtowers to build. Or not watchtowers. Uh, water towers in the other map. So, you know. Give me Taiga. So let's make sure we're full. We are. The feeling we're gonna need all of those repair points. There's quite a few vehicles that are just busted up. We're gonna get some fuel. I think we're gonna leave this guy here. If we need to, we can always drive it over to the gate, I guess. We did take the, um... The A&K fuel truck. It's just inside this gateway, so... Yay for finally a change of scenery. early for me right now and I'm uh, clearing my throat a lot doesn't mean anything it just means I'm I just woke up <laughs> so sorry for the silence get some get some coffee maybe Ooh, that's hot <clears throat> okay so well, that's where the fleet star is. It's up this way. I was going to go this way to this watchtower anyhow. I think that's where I saw the big fuel carrier. And it's right by one of our free vehicles that we get. So left it is. There's a warehouse over here. Let's see what this guy has. Blow up my tires. B 
Medium planks, wooden planks, metal beams, cabin. Ooh, there's a cabin there. Okay, good. That's right, there's two warehouses with two cabins that we need for over here. And small pipes, packaged sand, service spare parts, concrete blocks. Okay, there's a lot there. Good. Means we don't have to go all the way back to the infinite warehouse in the other map. Hopefully. <laughs> we probably do, but... This is, uh, this is our fleet star, by the way. Ours to keep. Uh. That's definitely a path that goes to the right, isn't it? I don't know if I'm going to take it, but. Uh-oh. Am I going the wrong way? Uh, uh, I think I should have went left. Hold on. What does the map say? Oh no, it goes around. It goes around to the watchtower. We're definitely not going right though. It's kind of a crazy path. It looks like it goes all the way through, too. It is a path. Yeah, like the... The smoldering forest in the other map, which is funny because this map is called Burning Forest. Um, means there must be another one. Oh, there is. In the north, I remember there is. Because there's an upgrade in there. There's like a whole city and everything that's burned. Yes, I know where we're delivering our water. <laughs> This is a task of some sort to take. This was the trailer we could have used to, uh, could have came all the way here, got this trailer, but we need this trailer and its cargo for this task, I believe. Oh, geez, there's mo even more stuff you have to pick up off the ground. So, yeah, you have to load that up, deliver it, but then if you deliver the trailer, you lose it, so, like... You almost have to, like, take the cargo off, set it on the ground, drive it all the way back to where the rails were in the southwest. Again, just unnecessary amounts of travel in Ontario. Okay, I'm going to go left, even though I know the fleet star is to the right. Because the watchtower is to the left. And I would like that first. This is a contest, the other contest. There's only two in this region, which I don't know why they don't just do more like this. Or, or just zero, you know. You can just have zero contest, I'm okay with that. Uh, we gotta make a left here for the watchtower. Yeah, I don't really know where to position fuel. So right now, it's just at both gateways. I guess once we figure it out, once we start doing tasks and contracts and stuff out here, we'll have a, a better idea of where I need fuel. And like I said, most of them are, it's, they're both in fuel trucks, so I can just drive them to where they need to be. Even though one 
I guess one is a uh, GMC, but we proved that the GMC can get through a lot of things if you just sp spend some time winching, so there is that. Uh, we gotta go left here for the watchtower. And not flip. Because <clears throat> I have, like, no backup vehicles. Not yet. Where this fuel trailer is is where the spare AMK is as well. Which I was actually thinking of just towing the fuel trailer out with the ANK. Because it should have at least off-road tires. Because that's what it comes with. So it should be more than capable of getting itself out with the fuel trailer. I don't remember if there's like a body on that thing or not. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there is a couple of tasks over there. We'll have to go across. Yeah, there it is right there. A&K. Fuel tree. Okay. Go get that. Then we can at least fill up the other A&K with that trailer. Um, and have a little bit left over in it in case we need it. Because I'm pretty sure this is just a fuel trailer we get to have. It's not for a task or anything. <clears throat> Here is one of the water towers that we need to build. Consumables, metal rolls. Is this a full-fledged water tower? This is a full-fledged water tower. Okay, so we, we will want to prioritize doing that for sure. I have no idea where water needs to be delivered here, but I don't want to travel all the way back to the other map for a water tower, so that might be the one. And then starting probably in the next episode is going to be doing that and then starting water because we got to start doing our one delivery per per day again <laughs> get all of our water done um the two water trucks are actually right by the other water tower the previous one we were using and uh they are both full so Uh, it is a empty, nothing on it, A and K, which is okay. <clears throat> okay. Three. And three. And should we go down and get that task? We should probably go down and get that task, huh? Just gonna pop off while I'm here. Okay, let me take a quick peek at the map. What's next? There's another water tower. Oh, that's that's one that you that's just a boon. Awkward situation. Oh, uh, okay, so that's a deliver a scout. Okay, so yeah, we can kind of like zigzag our way up this path. Um, so yeah, let me just run down here. But we need to get back up here. Just gonna grab this task quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. But now we have a backup vehicle out here. Because the ANK could just come and rescue something if it needs to. Like, I don't even need to put upgrades in it, really. 
it's sort of useless in its current form, besides for being a rescue vehicle, but... Let's, uh, let's not immediately use it, though. That's the plan. Okay. Do a little turn here. I didn't even look to see if that thing has gas. <laughs> Should probably check that, hey, before I leave. Deliver to the quarry. Three. Ironic. You have to deliver concrete slabs to the quarry. I guess here. You don't necessarily get. I mean, you do get concrete sort of out of quarries, but. Probably to fill this pit down here. <laughs> like, can't you just get your own concrete slabs? But it doesn't, like, come out of the quarry as a slab, I guess. here. I'm just gonna, just for good measure, I'm gonna top off again. <clears throat> okay. I don't really want to waste my repair points on this either, but We were gonna. Oh, do we have both of our onks out here too? <laughs> taiga, taiga, onk, onk. Uh, yeah, it's full, full and repaired. Not that taiga, this taiga. That's gonna happen a lot. <laughs> fleet star, fleet star, GMC, GMC. So we need to uh, wiggle our way through here, and then we can take this path north. Oh, there actually looks like there might might have been a little bit of a path there, but I think it looks a little risky. We're trying to not continue not flipping trucks today. had like one successful episode out of nine you know and we didn't i guess in the, it wasn't had to been every episode but i feel like it's been a lot lately This makes me uh, excited for season 13, driving past a big quarry like this. I feel like it's going to be fun. There was also some uh, some expedition news. They like gave us like a free map. I haven't haven't logged in there, but I did download it again on the new computer. So I might play that a little bit, but I don't think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we're safe, kind of. 
more rocks and tippy looking stuff over here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to stream it or not. Maybe we'll do it on a Wednesday, but while we're waiting for season 13, hoping seeing as this is in the future, uh, this is, this is past me talking to you. I'm hoping by the time that this video airs, maybe we'll have a season 13 date. That would be great. Getting to know when we're going to have season 13 will be... Give me some planning to do. Uh, we gotta go like this way and then left. That takes me to the watchtower, which is what I would like to do. I'm gonna try and get most of this uncovered today. With our scout taiga. Honestly, Tigers make really good scouts, too. Because they're, they're not super fuel efficient, but they have a decent amount of fuel. And as long as you can, like, find fuel along the way, you're pretty good. And they're, like, super stable. You can carry a big repair body like this without too much trouble. You can tow a fuel trailer if you really want to. Or winch a scout trailer. And, um... Or you could even, you know, you could almost like crane a little fuel, scout fuel trailer onto the roof of this thing. That's what I should do. <clears throat> I bet you that would be really funny, too. Maybe we'll do that someday. Maybe we'll do that in Season 13. I'm going to, like, set up a repair truck with a scout fuel trailer on the roof and see if it packs like how awesome would that be just like no, it, this is our scout vehicle it would make it extra top heavy though but the Taiga like I said is one of the more stable vehicles out there Okay, so there's our water tower. This is water boon. A waste of time thing that we just are required to do. Uh, where's my, oh, my watchtower is right here. I'm um, passing my watchtower. It is so nice to have a change of scenery. <laughs> like, ah, uh, we're not driving through a forest that has burned logs everywhere again and again. Uh, oh crap. This is a deliver stuff to a watchtower, a watchtower. Uh, we're not getting that one. I didn't know they had one of these in here. I guess I should know that because it said deliver stuff to a watchtower in the contract that I had activated when I started. Whoops. Sorry, right. had to cough. Well, no watchtower for me. It's good to know where it is, though. 
mind you, now that it's uncovered when I activate the task, it'll actually show the arrow as well, so there's a benefit of going there for sure. Can we... It, yeah, we can. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna go up northwest. All the way up there. Because there's, I think, a couple of vehicles up there. Water boon. Or water boon. Boom. Not boon. I keep saying boon. Boom with an M. Okay, is there fuel up here? Hold on. Checking. Got a fuel carrier. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. Is there are two trucks. Oh, the Freightliner's up here. We get two trucks up here. Two trucks and a fuel carrier, man. Jackpot. Yep, this is the way. I think the Zix we have to take somewhere, and I think the Freightliner we just get. So, might have to drive this Freightliner all the way back. That's gonna suck. <laughs> At least we got fuel up here, though. That's sweet. I could just winch the fuel carrier back. I could, then again, I have a feeling we have to come up here. So maybe this is a good spot to just leave the fuel carrier trailer. I'm like 99% sure we have to come up here for other stuff. For deliveries and whatnot. And even if it's out of the way a little bit, it's a good place to have fuel. Because I'm not, I, like right now it's south middle and east middle is where I have fuel. So this is the farthest away. Yep, fuel carrier. Give me your fuel. Thank you. Yep, free trailer. Awesome. Yep, there's the task for the Zix. The baby Zix. Not the good baby Zix either, in my opinion. I think this is the less good baby Zix. Deliver to the village warehouse, 6566A. How about this guy? Oh, this is part of a task, too. Uh, crap. Can we... We can. Uh... Is that part of a task? Nope, we just get that one. Okay, well, we didn't get the notification for it, I don't think, but... Alright, so... Yeah, if we, if we needed to get it out of here, we could... Oh, this has got a metal detector on it? Why the hell does it have a metal detector on it? That, there's nothing to metal detect here. <laughs> and metal detectors are free, so it's not like it's I'm gaining benefit from this highway-tired, non-equipped truck. Okay, so where is the village warehouse? Oh, we gotta go right back to where I was kind of planning on going. Um, the problem is we're going to be passing 
the fleet star, which I kind of need to get out of there too. Where is that? Yeah, it is going to take me like right past it. Uh, I guess not really. We could we'd go down. Which way? If we go this way, when we come back, we can actually like zigzag right down here and kind of bypass it. Okay, so let's go get ourselves a Zix. I don't know if we need to... Repair it? I don't believe so. I guess this could tell me as well. If I just click on this. Help the villagers. Nope, it's just drag it there. Um, so where does that go? That goes to the south like this. And then eventually this way. It, it ends up kind of zigzagging around a little bit, but it gets down there. Okay. get this turned in any direction so I can actually pull it out of here Ooh, careful have fuel it does okay okay let's not turn the engine on just yet I don't think we need it it's pretty light going up hills would turn it on just to have it not totally waste our fuel So yeah, two, three, we can probably get four of the five vehicles. Because I can go back and get the Fleet Star. Then it's going to be a trip. <laughs> like getting them all out. That's going to be fun. Some highway tire action. I guess this thing has got some uh, special tune. I'm going the wrong way. Like this thing isn't terrible. It's just a single axle off-road truck that is not as good as the other Zix or the Acteon or the Warthog. But it, I don't have any of those, so. This could be another good, like, little fuel truck. Or scouting fuel truck. Possibly. Could use this as a scout. Wouldn't be a bad thing to use this as a scout. It does have the ability to put some, uh, there's like a little roof rack for fuel. I don't think it's that fuel efficient, though. I remember it being, like, not the greatest. I guess we'll have to see. Oh, I don't need this engine on. Wasting gas. Uh, oh crap. 
We gotta take the Bleed Star to the log station, which is not a terrible road, I guess. But there is some like muddy stuff. I already got that one. Apparently. Oh yeah, I drove through here. But, uh, I'm like, how did I get this task? It's a cool looking little truck has some some cool uh, it's, it reminds me of the croc as well the croc sort of has a similar old truck look already smashed up good it's just trying to fit in with the rest of the fleet Maybe in one of these seasons, Saber will put in the ability to repair body damage without repairing the rest of the truck in the garage. Hint, hint, please. Yeah, like this path isn't terrible. I could make this path with a uh, highway tired truck. Haven't really found anything super deep yet. Guess there's some mud. So the thing with the Freightliner that I need to look into, I don't know if I have the upgrades for it. So that could be interesting. Come on. I believe those are the two, like, in White Valley, in Alaska, like, south of the garage. I think that's where they are. And I don't think I went and got those. Because we did do that one little Alaska upgrade run for, like, mainly the advanced special gearbox. That was the only reason I went there. And then I ended up getting the uh, lift for the uh, load star as well. Which, unfortunately, basically involved me driving through all four maps to get there. Yeah, three maps to get there, and then I ended up, I ended up in White Valley to... Uh, just park in the garage. Pretty sure my, she my Chevy's still there, though, so... We could go and get him if we want to use the... Fr I, I would like to use the Freightliner. Just because it's one of those trucks that... Sort of fits my... What I like. You know, not, not super powered. Um, decent ability, but not great. Um, selectable diff and all-wheel drive. I believe it has the ability to do crane sideboard bed and trailer, or crane flatbed and trailer. I guess we'll find out. Um, or it could be, again, another low saddle truck. Um, so yeah, I, I would like to use it, but if it needs upgrades, we'll have to probably 
I'd probably just go get him. At this point, I just don't care anymore. Yes, we're still going backwards in order, but... I already went and got a couple of Alaska upgrades. What's, what's going to get a couple more? So yeah, I kind of cheated my whole theory, but... Even from Season 12, because like I said, Season 12 is when I went and got the Advanced Special, just because I was like, man, this Femme is not going to live in regularly low. I'm not. This is not the game we're playing. It needed at least low plus. Because when they, when they design a vehicle that just doesn't drive unless you're in low with the diff lock on, um, you kind of need the, the faster version of it. Uh oh. Come on, push me out of here. Give me a little bump. Come on. There we go. It's an official bump in the back. Boy, that's a muddy spot. So yeah, we're gonna have like a whole fleet of vehicles over here that have like nothing on them. I have to drive them all the way back to the garage to actually be able to use them for things. Unless I just wanna like do tow behind trailers, which is silly. I don't think there's a trailer store out here either. And there's no trailers to find besides for that one that's a gooseneck, which needs a low saddle. So, yeah. Which reminds me, we're gonna have to bring out a low saddle truck out here. I guess we have a couple of them. In fact, I think, don't we have the, we have the other tug out here still. Okay. Helping the villager, man, these villagers do need some help. They're just living in a lake. There's like 82 tasks here too. This one. What I'm doing right now. And then the other one. Freezix. Okay. Help the villagers. Uh, two and one. Okay. So we have all of those. So now can we get up here get this and get it back to the gate with what fuel we have probably because if we go all right so there appears to be a way to go this way and then it loops around essentially to here and we go up here grab our fleet star and then we gotta take it past the busted trailer in fact let's uh just turn that task on right away Hope. Can we make it to our fuel truck? If not, the fuel truck can make it to us. So. I don't want to take any fuel out of this thing because it's already kind of only got 40 gallons. I mean, we only used half, so we should be fine. It's just a question of how tough is it going to be to pull the fleet star. 
And then... Bug. We're gonna have to figure out how to get the fleet star back. That's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> I mean, we could go it back through the gateway right away. Geez, thanks. Random plate. There's half. Yep, that will be interesting, because, um, like I said, I have the choice of driving it through this map to the other gateway, which then would be a much easier path to get it back. Um, I just question the ability of a non diff lock non-all-wheel drive Fleet Star that has nothing on it. It's going to be interesting. Probably highway tires as well. I doubt it's got anything but highway tires. But, seeing as we're taking it back, and I said I was going to use the fleet star for something, I could low saddle it and bring it back. And then we could come and grab that trailer with it in the next one. Except low saddle, uh, low saddle with the fleet star is just asking for trouble. That's a bad idea. Uh, maybe we'll do that with the freight liner. Yeah, the fleet star needs to be like a flatbed truck. It needs to be a flatbed or a sideboard trailer, a sideboard bed truck. It's a, it's a two slot truck. It's not a. It's definitely not meant, because of that long frame, it's unfortunate too, because I think it would actually be a really good um, low saddle truck. Okay, we're getting kind of low. Getting kind of scary. I'm hoping the Fleet Star has some fuel in it. Because we can just fill them both up when we hit the uh, fuel truck, but... Okay. Fleet Star found. Fleet Star on its side. Shocker. Okay. Well, that worked. <laughs> oh, it's got a... It's set up for logging. <laughs> we could use it for logging, I guess. That would be hilarious, actually. We do only have one long log to, to do. <clears throat> and there is a log trailer. So we could do, like, an unupgraded Lead Star long log run. That would be crazy through the frickin' burn forest, too. I mean, I guess there's, like, 8 million winch points. Because it is just a forest. I think that's... We'll think about that one. We'll think about that one. I don't know if that's what I want to do or not. Yeah, I mean, it would be frickin' awesome. Because there, yeah, there is a long log trailer right where I'm dropping it. Like, it's literally meant, I think the game is, like, baiting you to do it. It's like, come on, you know you want to. We're giving you this truck. 
It's already set up for long logs. You don't even have to go back to the garage. You're already tired of going back to the garage. Because it's freaking forever in a day to drive all the way back there. We got this truck for you. It's set up and where you, where you turn it in is where you pick up the trailer and the logs that you need to drive back to the other map. I'm gonna I'm gonna seriously think about using this for the one long logs that we have to do. And we'll just we'll back it up. We'll we'll have a we'll have a tug vehicle in the event it, it probably needs one, but yeah, does this thing need repairs? It does. Let's give it some repair. It doesn't need fuel. It needs fuel too. Well, it's got some fuel. If I need it, it's got some fuel. Oh, I should have went right. There was a little sneaky path there. I think that would be man this is this is really making me hum, hum and ha about about doing this I think it would be freaking awesome if I can actually pull it off because like I said this the spreadsheet does not lie now that I fixed it <laughs> the spreadsheet now has the correct thing in long logs instead of a solar panel for some reason I had solar panels on this on this I didn't like change the description um, but yeah, there's, there's no solar panels here. Um, only, only burnt things and water. I think we're gonna like just make it to the fuel truck and then the fuel truck's gonna be empty. Which is good, because then we can take the the spare onk, so we can have both onks in the same place, make it even more confusing. Yeah, we'll fill up both of these. Man, this is, uh, it's going to be, a uh, an interesting, if we can pull it off, it's going to be really freaking awesome. I'm going to, I think we're going to try. We'll, we'll take a look at... We'll do some research into the path. It's not going to be in the next episode. We'll take a look at the, the various paths. I'm pretty sure going through this map to the other gateway with it is going to be the way to go. Well, we made it to the fuel truck. Almost out. Okay, perfect. Well, that worked out. That worked out. Four vehicles. One episode. How crazy. We're just, uh, you know, building our fleet. No big deal. So, yeah, like right here, literally right where I parked this thing is a free long log trailer. They're just like, you know you want to. You know. You absolutely know you want to do this. It's so tempting. I feel like we have to try it. We have to try. 
<laughs> we definitely have to try. There's no question that I'm not going to give this a shot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to, like, drive stuff. Yeah, oh, it does have diff lock at least. So it might not have all-wheel drive, but it will have diff lock. Oh, it's got some sort of... It's... Uh oh. Well, that's good. So, anyhow, that's where we're going to leave it. I'm going to make a path to get myself out of here with this thing. Um, I don't want to take an unknown path. Uh, I don't know if I want to go through that way either. <laughs> this, this looks sketchy. But we're going to try. It's got a diff lock. It does have a diff lock. Oh, boy. This whole path is... going to be sketch. Getting this... Yeah, I don't think... Looking at this path... It's only going to get hard right here. Like, this This is pretty good for the Fleet Star. Okay, we got to stop looking. I'm going <laughs> to... Alright, so, as always like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next one